Hi guys, and my name is Eric and because I like Blender you can call me Blenderic. Uh, this video tutorial is for for the people who like to do uh, 3D architectural modeling I think because to create nice uh, walkthroughs through the buildings and houses you probably need to be able to create some furniture so in this video I will show you how to create a simple furniture uh, let's start with press pressing number seven on your number pad go to top view S press space add mesh plane by scrolling your wheel scale it up press tab to go to edit edit mode and here on the right side on the bottom windows you need to add a, uh, under the mesh tools more you need to find edge length and press this one and this is gonna show you this is gonna display the dimen dimensions of your plane now press scale and by holding down control scale it down to 0 0.2 now press shift hold the shift hold down the uh, wheel mouse wheel and move it in the left bottom corner deselect all by pressing A select here the edge select mode select the right edge press E to extrude X to keep it locked uh, along the X axis and type 6 point enter zoom out a little bit by holding down shift and holding down your mouse wheel you can pan your view without rotating let's continue with extruding press E press X and type 0 0.2 enter deselect by pressing A select top three uh, edges you mean select the first one then sh hold down shift by uh, right click select another one and third one press E to extrude Y along the Y axis type 6 point enter and continue with extruding by pressing E Y 0 0.2 enter this is uh, like a back back board of our cabinet we are building a cabinet yeah we are still in the front view press A to deselect move your 3D cursor on uh, this line on the top right click to bring this split area area option and left click confirm now just to drag the line to create two similar windows like the same let's call it in the left uh, viewport press y, press 1 to go to front view and the right side uh, change the mode to face select mode press A to select all of them and go to the left viewport and press E to extrude uh, confirm region region by pressing enter try not to use your mouse because then you can accidentally move it a little bit and it's gonna cause the problems later so uh, confirm the region by pressing enter extrude along the Z so press Z and mm, type 0 0.1 enter uh, we're gonna leave all uh, the this frame selected so deselect 
this uh, large face in the middle by pressing, uh, holding down the shift and right click on this. And now we can continue with extruding. So press E to extrude. Region by uh, enter. Confirm the region by pressing enter. Extrusion uh, along the Z axis and type 2.5. Enter. Press A to deselect. Press tab to go out of uh, edit mode. Press 7 and you see you have your cabinet like in the wrong position so we need to rotate it along the X axis so with the cabinet uh, selected press the R to rotate X and holding on control rotate it 90 degrees and left click to confirm Press 1 to go to front, uh, to front view. Uh, because uh, the whole thing has created from a single plane, we have uh, as a median point the original median point of that plane. So if you want to rotate it like now along the Z, press rotate R, Z, you see that this is. Uh, This is just not good. I don't like it. So we need to change the median point of our cabinet by pressing the uh, down on a buttons window, send send to new, and this is gonna create a new median point for our for our cabinet. So when you press R, rotate and Z, that's better. So right click to go back step back all right press 1 to go to front view <coughs> press shift D Z and uh, duplicate the cabinet move for the new one on the top of the first one press A to deselect and that's what we got not bad okay uh, thing is I, I, I think that it's always a very good idea to make it easier later to <coughs> uh, put the empty into our scene to be able to create a very easily nice camera views so by pressing down pressing the space add mesh oh, sorry add empty we are bringing the MT into our scene. A to deselect. Select the camera. Holding down Shift. Select the MT. Control T. Track the constraint. Enter to confirm. Uh, right to viewport. Press 0 on the number pad to go to the camera view. And left viewport. Press 7 to go to top view. So press A to deselect MT and camera. Uh, right click on a camera to select grab and move it further away select the empty so what's going on all right it was not easy but we managed We see that we need to uh, grab and move our camera a bit farther away from there to have a nice camera view. Just you just need to spend some time with by playing with that. Select the camera, go higher. Select the empty, put it a little bit higher. And now we go to 7, grab the camera and we can get closer by pressing G, go closer to our cabinet. Right, uh, when we press F12 now, it's going to be nothing special because our light is behind the cabinet, so... Uh